Hi guys, today we are going to learn a um, couple of techniques with, based on algebra and arithmetic. So let's start with algebra. So um, if you know, uh, like uh, find the value of each expression. So first we are going to see find the value of each expression. Yeah. So what does it mean? It means they will give you a couple of values like a is 2 and b is 3 and you need to find the value of uh, what is a plus b, second what is a square b, third one what is a minus b whole square and fourth one is what is uh, a plus b whole square. Yeah. So these are the values you need to find. So what you need to do let's put a equal to 2 here a equal to 2 and b equal to 3 so 2 plus 3 equal to 5 now a square a square means like 2 square and there is no sign in between a and b so you can put time sign and b is 3 so 2 square means 2 times 2 that is 4 and 4 times 3 is equal to 12 a minus b a minus b that is 2 minus 3 whole square so 2 minus 3 is basically it is minus 1 a square and minus 1 a square means minus 1 times minus 1. So you know when you multiply minus and minus it for it turn into positive and 1 times 1 is 1. So answer is plus 1. a plus b whole square. So what is a? a is 2 and b is 3. So 2 plus 3 whole square. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 square. 5 square means 5 times 5 that is 25 nice and easy okay now i'm going to give you some practice questions that you need to do it so your practice question you uh, for your practice question you need to pause the video and have a go okay here are your practice questions now so i hope please pause the video and have a go now So hope you have uh, tried. So let's check your answers against my answer. So what is A? A is 3 and B is minus 1. So plus and minus once you multiply. So it will be minus. So 3 minus 1 that is 2. Okay. Now next one. A minus B. A is 3 then minus sign and B is again minus 1. So let's write down in a bracket here. So minus and minus same sign it becomes add. So 3 plus 1 becomes 4. Now here a plus b so a is 3 and b is minus 1 so and it is whole square right so let's sort out inside the bracket so plus and minus becomes minus so 3 minus 1 is square 3 minus 1 is 2 2 is square and 2 square is 2 times 2 that is equal to 4. Similarly here a minus b square so a is 3 then minus sign and b is minus 1 so let's write down in a bracket okay so this is bracket so minus minus becomes if you multiply this uh, minus and minus so it will be plus so it will be 3 plus 1 a square 3 plus 1 is 4 4 square 4 square is that is 4 times 4 and that is 16 now b minus a square so b is minus 1 minus a a is 3 so that is whole square so minus 1 minus 3 is what minus 4 minus 4 square means minus 4 times minus 4 so once you multiply minus and minus it will becomes plus and 4 times 4 is 16 nice and easy now let's have a look of factorized problem. So suppose question is like this 3x plus 9. Okay. So if you see how many terms are there. So there are two terms. First term and second term. Is there anything common? So if we talk about letter x. So one letter is here but there is no letter. So x cannot be common. But in three time table three time table nine comes here so in three time table this nine comes here so let's take three outside here yeah? so once you take three outside write down this bracket so whatever number you have taken outside by this number you need to divide so it will be 3x divided by 3 
and 9 divided by 3. So this number is coming down that is 3 and uh, this 3 and this 3 is cancelled out. So what is left here? x and 9 divided by 3 is 3. Okay, so 3x plus 3. So that is example 1. Now let's see example 2 now. Example 2, suppose 4x plus 20. So see here, there are again two terms, one term and second term. So what is common? So x is here, but there is nothing here. So x is not common. So we can take 4 out. Why we can take 4 out? Because in 4 timetable, 20 comes. So 4 is out. So because 4 is out, so by this number, you need to divide these two terms. So 4x divided by 4 and 20 divided by 4. So 4 is out. So this 4 and 4 cancel. It is x and 20 divided by 4 is 5. So this is your answer. So in first case, answer was um, uh, 3x plus 3. This was your answer. And in second case, your answer is 4x plus five okay now i'm going to give you some practice questions and you can do the practice and uh, after that you can check your working against my working so here you go for practice question now so please pause the video and have a go Welcome back. If you have um, tried these problems, so let's check the answer. So if you see here, there is x here and there is nothing. So x we cannot take common. So in 5 time table 30 comes. So let's take 5 outside. And this 5x will be divided by 5 and minus 30 divided by 5. Yeah. So once you divide it, so this 5, this 5 will be cancelled. So this 5 is out. So x this minus sign and 30 divided by 5 is 6 because 5 times 6 is 30. That is your answer. Now, in this question, uh, x is here, but there is nothing x. So x cannot come on. So let's take 2 out. So it will be 2x divided by 2 and 40 divided by 2. So 2 is outside. So this 2 you can cancel out. So it is x and 40 divided by 2 is 20. So 2x minus 20. Similarly here you can take 3 out. So 3x divided by 3 and minus 18 divided by 3. So 3 so 3 and 3 will be cancelled. 18 divided by 3 is 6. Yeah. Now in this question here y square minus y. So there is no letters. So but if you see y is here y is 2 and here y is 1. So 1 y is out. So what happens so y square y square means there are two y so y square divided by y and y divided by y so uh, you need to see here if y square means y times y this is time sign y times y and there's a one y there so one y and one y will be cancelled so one y left right so so uh, one y one y cancel so one y left here yeah? so similarly this y is outside so one y and one y cancel because there was y squared that is two y so one y left and this y and y cancelled so one left here yeah? why one left because if you divide 10 by 10 so one left if you divide 3 by 3 that is one left so divide y by y that is one left similarly here in this question x square and x yeah so if x is out, so this x square will be divided by x and 3x divided by x. Okay, so x square again same thing. x square again same thing. Here x square means x times x and divide by x. So 1x, 1x cancel, only 1x left. So this x is outside. Okay, so here 1x, 1x cancel, so 1x left. Here x and x cancel, so only minus 3 left. Okay, now in this question, 2x minus x square, again 1x is out. So 2x divided by x, x square means x times x. So whenever we put dot in dot means multiplication sign in algebra. Yeah, so 1x, 1x cancel, 1x, 1x cancel. So we are left with, it is 2 and this minus sign and it is x x2 minus x yeah so i hope you are uh, doing well now let's see another example 
so now we are going to revise expanding expanding so as i taught you that you always follow s n a s stands for sign n stands for number and a stands for alphabet here yeah? okay sign number alphabet i'm writing in short so what how this rule is going to take place s n a rule so if you see question is minus 3x minus 2y and plus 4 okay so first we multiply sign so sign means this one minus minus so you know when you multiply minus and minus becomes plus same sign add so minus and minus becomes plus so we have multiplied sign then next chance is we need to multiply number so number is 3 and 2 3 times 2 is 6 so we have multiplied number alphabet so here is x and here is y so can multiply x times y is x y so same thing we will do it here now minus 3x you need to multiply with plus 4 so say again you multiply sign first minus and plus becomes minus the number 3 times 4 is 12 and x times uh, there is no letter so x remains x so 6xy minus 12x okay this was our example one now example two if it is minus 5x and here it is plus 4y and minus 3x so what will happen in this case so rules remain the same so first you multiply sign so minus and plus becomes minus opposite sign take away so minus and plus becomes minus now multiply uh, number so sign we have done multiply number 5 times 4 is 20 and multiply letters that is x and y so it is x y now we are multiplying uh, minus 5 x with this yeah so minus and minus becomes plus 5 times 3 is 15 x times x is x square so you must know that like x times x is x square so minus 20 x y plus 15 x square so remember my rule same sign add opposite sign take away so same sign that is minus and minus that is add and opposite sign it is take away yeah so let's do some practice problem and you can check your working against my working here you go so these are the practice problem and make sure that you are following S and A rule sign number alphabet. So please pause the video and have a go and we'll check the answers after five seconds here. Yeah. Okay, hope you have paused the video. If you haven't paused, please pause the video and complete this question and check your working against my working. So your first answer is if you multiply minus and if there is no sign it means plus sign so minus and plus becomes minus then you multiply number 2 times 3 is 6 and alphabets x times y is x y yeah now you are multiplying this so minus and minus becomes plus then multiply number 2 times 4 is 8 x times x is x square so remember x times x is x square so whenever we are putting dot dot means um, multiplication sign in algebra now same thing here if you multiply minus and minus it will be plus now 6 times 3 is 18 and x times y is x y now this one minus and plus becomes minus 6 times 2 is 12 and x is x because there is no letter okay so now here there is no sign it means plus sign there is no sign it means plus sign so plus plus remains plus either you write or you don't write doesn't matter 4 times 3 is 12 x times x is x square now you are multiplying uh, this with this so plus and plus becomes plus 4 times 4 is 16 x times y is x y similarly here if you are multiplying this there is no sign it means plus sign so plus and minus becomes minus and it is there is no number so if there is no number so it means 1 is there so 1 times 2 is 2 and y times y is y square similarly now you are multiplying this plus 1 y with this so plus and plus becomes plus and 1 
and there is no number it means 1 is there so 1 times 1 is 1 and x y or y x whatever you want you can write down similarly now you multiplying here so there is no sign it means plus sign that's right so minus and plus becomes minus 6 times 1 is 6 and y okay now here so minus 6 y you need to multiply with minus 3 y so first sign minus and minus becomes plus 6 times 3 is 18 y times y is y square okay now this one there is no sign it means plus sign so first multiply sign plus and minus becomes minus 2 times 3 is 6 and alphabets with y and times x either you write x y or y x doesn't matter okay now the last bit is plus 2 you are multiplying with minus so plus and minus becomes minus number 2 times 5 is 10 and y times x is either you write y x or x y doesn't matter so i hope uh, this is going to help you uh, for your test so keep revising it and uh, please keep watching my videos if you haven't subscribed please subscribe my channel okay and uh, we'll see uh, some good videos next time so guys thanks for watching and uh, please leave your comments and i will get back to you thank you very much goodbye